10 biggest deals in Shark Tank history. 1. Zero Pollution Motors One of the largest deals that ever went down in Shark Tank history was one involving duo Pat Boone and Ethan Tucker of Zero Pollution Motors. Their pitch was all about developing and marketing a car that could run off of compressed air, leading to, you guessed it, absolutely zero pollution output. This all went down in 2015, and we have yet to see cars powered by compressed air hit the general public, but we're still waiting patiently over here and understand that these things do take time, even with the pair being offered 50% equity in exchange for $5 million from investor Robert Herjavec. The deal also included the chance for Herjavec to negotiate for rights for the vehicles to operate in the U.S. That $5 million investment isn't anything to laugh at, although 50% equity seems to suggest that this deal will inevitably be a winner for Herjavec, along with added incentive for him to take the pair under his wing and show them the ropes. The deal wasn't officially struck until after the show had ended, but just being on Shark Tank in the first place is a serious leg up that put zero pollution motors on the map no matter what. We expect big things from this project in the future, fingers crossed. A car that runs on compressed air would be pretty handy given the current environmental issues affecting the planet after all. 2. Sindaver Labs Another big winner that will go down in Shark Tank history is Sindaver Labs, headed by CEO Christopher Zakalis. This is another deal that was still being negotiated by the time taping of the given episode was wrapped up, but still landed Zakalis with a $3 million offer by Robert Harjavec in return for 25% equity in the company. Sindaver Labs makes synthetic human tissue and body parts, which is vitally important to the advancement of medical training, along with having many other useful applications. Zakalis also managed to capitalize on his Shark Tank exposure by getting some awesome advertising and networking in. This eventually led to Sindaver Labs landing a plug on the hit CBS show CSI Crime Scene Investigation, which is pretty impressive and undoubtedly opened the company up to a lot of wider interest and engagement. That's all win-win for both Sokolis and Herjavec, who stands to profit quite nicely off their big partnership. This is a perfect example of how just being on Shark Tank to begin with is a serious leg up when it comes to getting your name and product out in the public sphere. 3. 1031 Productions You might have heard of 1031, but not just because they were featured on Shark Tank back in 2013. That's because they've since made quite a name for themselves. They're an entertainment company that focuses specifically on the horror genre and specialize in the creation and production of live attractions that are meant to scare the living daylights out of any visitors. They've built up quite a dedicated fan base and take part in all sorts of events in L.A. and beyond, really putting their mark on the map. After their somewhat scary pitch to the Shark Tank investors, Mark Cuban ended up offering Melissa Carbone and her team $2 million in exchange for 20% equity in the company. That offer was graciously accepted, and the pair have been making money together ever since. While the main deal was tweaked somewhat after taping, it still ended up being more than Carbone expected and the support of Cuban was always going to help her build her business and achieve her dreams. While $2 million isn't the largest investment seen on Shark Tank, it's still a staggering sum and we're glad it was put behind such an awesome company. 1031 is definitely worth checking out if you're into anything horror-esque and they really know how to put on a show. 4. Zips Wine Andrew McCurry of Zips Wine must have been pretty pleased with himself when he showed up on Shark Tank and ended up walking away with one hell of a nod of approval from Shark Tank investor Kevin O'Leary. O'Leary liked McCurry's proposal so much that he offered up a cool $2.5 million in exchange for 10% of the company. Zips is all about wine to go, offering single serving glasses of the beverage. While it's not a groundbreaking concept, it does sound like a winner at a picnic or at a beach, so we're happy to get behind Zips, which is based in New Jersey. McCurry wasn't able to fully accept the deal as it was at the time of the offer because he still had to run it by investors. The deal was still accepted in the long run, in one form or another, and McCurry left quite pleased with himself. 
getting an idea like Zips off the ground is going to take more than a big name investor, however, and it'll be interesting to see what comes of Zips now that they've got such incredible support. 5. Rugged Races The Rugged Races are undoubtedly cool events. They were able to get so big and gain so much publicity thanks, in part, to a boost from their Shark Tank debut, which skyrocketed them into the big leagues almost immediately afterward. Rob Dickens and Brad Scrutter decided to toss out their pitch and it was met with a ton of support, with Cuban eventually offering them a pretty sweet deal. The pair was offered $1.75 million to help get their events off the ground in exchange for 25% equity. This was one of the deals that we can absolutely say didn't change after taping, with both parties more than living up to their side of the bargain, helping to catapult the rugged events into the public sphere, as well as the hearts of weakened warriors everywhere. The Rugged Races duo was able to get such a great deal from Cuban because they said they went in with a firm grasp of their company's financials, which helped them leverage the best deal possible, which is pretty sound logic and tipped the scales in their favor. They've since gone on to make rugged events wildly popular, hosting events all over the place, with more popping up every year. 6. Vengo Have you ever heard of a digital vending machine? If the answer to that question was yes, then there's a good chance it was because of Stephen Bofull and Brian Schimmerlich, founders of Vengo. Vengo is a digital vending machine company that ended up getting a lot of love and a ton of support from the Shark Tank investors. Rainer and O'Leary both jumped at the chance to throw some support at the pair, offering $2 million in venture debt, which was to be paid over three years at an interest rate of 7%, along with 3% overall equity. A tentative deal was struck, although we're not sure what the final details ended up being. Regardless of the deal, we are sure it was worthwhile for the team behind Vengo, which, we have to say, is a rather interesting idea and could possibly even be the future of vending machines. We're not about to run out and start praising the gospel of Vengo just yet, but it's definitely an idea worth keeping an eye on. 7. Swarkit Our next deal is kind of a letdown, unfortunately. That's because it had a ton of potential, but ended up falling apart after the fact. We thought we'd highlight it here because it was, for a time, one of the bigger Shark Tank deals we've seen and we really wanted the company to take off. We are sure that they managed to work out something else, but haven't heard all that much since. Swarkit is a fitness app that had some good thought put into it and Cuban offered owners and developers Ben Young and Greg Coleman $1.5 million in exchange for 10% equity in addition to $1.5 million worth of unsold ad inventory currently on the app. The pair initially accepted but later said that they withdrew from the deal because they felt that Cuban had undervalued their app's worth. It sounds to us like they ended up finding a much better deal somewhere else and ran with that instead. Their idea was worth a lot, as evidenced by Cuban's enthusiasm, and we're sure that just being on Shark Tank opened them up to all sorts of big-time investors behind the scenes. 8. Scrub Daddy Scrub Daddy is one of Shark Tank's biggest and most impressive success stories with the company taking its investors' support and running with it, building up quite an empire in the process. In fact, investor Lori Greiner has stated that the first three years of their partnership saw the company bring in revenue exceeding $75 million, which is just exceptional, especially when you consider the fact that we're talking about a startup sponge company. The initial deal made was for a mere $200,000 in exchange for 20% equity. Aaron Krauss, Scrub Daddy's CEO, had issues breaking past $100,000 and needed that extra little push to really hit the big time. All it took was a little help from Griner, and he was able to pull off a truly remarkable feat that worked out well for everyone involved. Griner's pull with stores like Bed Bath & Beyond were instrumental in helping Krauss expand his operation and were sure that the publicity from just being on Shark Tank and giving a killer pitch helped out a bit too. Now, the sky's the limit for Scrub Daddy, and we have to say that it is well-deserved. 9. Breathometer It isn't often that more than one Shark Tank investor bites on any given proposal. Many times, it's hard to get any of them to get on board with a lot of the pitches they see. That's why getting five Shark Tank investors to get in on an offer is pretty impressive all by itself. 
That's what Charles Yim managed to pull off with his pitch for the breathometer, which is an easy-to-use, portable breathalyzer that pairs with any smartphone or device. Cuban, Griner, Herjavec, O'Leary, and Damon John all pitched in to offer a total of $650,000 in exchange for 30% of the company in total. They also offered to help Yim expand his company and reach more potential customers. He has since raised an additional $6.5 million in funding after being on Shark Tank and has partnered with the Cleveland Clinic. He has also developed a better product overall that also offers much better accuracy. He even developed an additional device that tracks oral health and overall hydration levels, proving that he's got all sorts of awesome ideas, as well as the drive and dedication to make them a reality. 10. XCraft XCraft is another one of those awesome pitches that ended up with all the Shark Tank investors on board and ready to open up their checkbooks. Their drone startup had all the highlights that the Sharks were looking for, and J.D. Claridge and Charles Manning pulled out all the stops to convince the investors that they were the real deal. They had a ton of fun with their pitch, and their concept was top-notch, leading to an offer of $1.5 million in exchange for 25% equity, split evenly between all the Sharks. The X-Craft team was more than happy to accept, and they ended up doing very well for themselves, impressing us all with their quality products. We have to tip our hats to these guys for not only landing a big investment, but also for enjoying themselves thoroughly while they were on stage, really showing off their enthusiasm for the project.